And then finally, my last question of the day would be number 11, would be, it's asking us how many cups are in a quart? And again, we are working in, this here is another measurement question and it's going to be in the empirical system. And this is measuring volume. I mean, let me, let me write that, let me write it down in blue actually, because it's not part of the problem here. Okay, so again, we have, we know our, we know our, conversion factors already. Well, one gallon here equals four quarts. And this here, we care about quarts and we care about cups, right? So we have to actually write our, the other conversions as well. I don't know, one quart equals two, uh, sorry, this is two pints, not two cups. How about one pint equals two cups. So given all these guys here, I'm th it's asking us how many cups are in a quart? Well, I have a quart here and a cup here and I can't, it does not actually directly equal, equal each other out. So I need to use this concept of again, unit analysis, right? So I'm going from one thing to another thing here. So unit analysis. So how would I do that? Well, I'm, how many quarts do I have here? I only have one quart, right? So I'm going to say here, I have one quart. And I want to convert quarts here into cups, right? So I know one quart here equals, it's going to equal obviously two pints in one quart. And, that's all, and, then, and then one pint here equals two cups, right? So in two cups, I have one pint. And the trick here with unit analysis is that we want to always cancel out our units, right? I want to always put the pints here with the pints here and the quarts here with the quarts here, right? I always want to put it one in the numerator and one in the denominator. So I wouldn't write, I wouldn't write something like this and I'll do some red. I wouldn't write multiply by one pint over two cups here because then I would have pints and pints on top and it's not going to cancel out here. So uh, that's just a side note here. Quarts cancel out, pints cancel out. So therefore, the math becomes very simple, right? Because cups here is by itself. So I simply have one times two times two, which equals one times two here is two times two, which equals four cups here. So one quart equals four cups. One quart here equals there's four cups in one quart. So I can say that. Therefore, there are four cups in one quart. And as you can see, this solution here is correct. Again, in a quart, there are four cups and they did the exact same thing as I did, right? So they did um, kind of unit analysis as well. They said one quart here is two times two cups. So again, it's multiplying by this two here is two pints over one quart and two cups over one pint here. So that's your two times two and it's going to give us four here. So the solution here is correct. It's a good analysis as well. So uh, that's the end of this video. Again, I did 11 questions in basically the pre-algebra, the algebra one, and the geometry type of questions here. Uh, stay tuned. If you are if you like these videos, definitely stay tuned to uh, my next stream, which will be about in about an hour. I'm going to do uh, much harder problems in basically uh, grade 10 to 12 math. So this is, uh, if, if you're tuning in from the U.S., this would be uh, the end of algebra one, algebra two, and also pre-calculus -cal questions. So you can definitely tune in for those problems as well. And again, if you like this the uh, this material and you've liked these videos, or if you like me, uh, definitely uh, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash one class, and you can find out all those videos of um, this live stream and also other past live streams as well. If you want to go back and look, um, look at these videos here. So again, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day. Take care.